Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. Now, last time we got our water up and running. Well, mostly. We've kind of been getting it up and running for a little while now, but now it's actually a uh, profit. Well, a little bit profit. Two's better than none, but uh, we're making water up quicker than we're using it. Provided I don't drink it. Ah, uh, yeah, then it goes down again. Now, uh, we did that. We are making our volatiles from our composter con continuously. We're making our water from our water burner uh, continuously, so I don't have to go collect any water. Um, coming out of you, you are... Oh, wow, you're just staying on now. Oh, no almost always on so it might be one or two things we can do to speed that up but um yeah mainly the bottleneck is going to be this thing here now by the looks of it uh but anyway that's good enough for what we're doing we're making water faster than we're using it we're making the volatiles to beg the water oh is that faster than we're using it, it was about 20 meg when we started <coughs> and uh yup Oh, at 18.7. So it's almost keeping up with it. Um, <coughs> those things are going through there. And um, right, so today we have got to. We've got my oxygen coming in as fast as I'm using it too. And cooling. Well, that's down to 10 megapascals. I might have to put that up. Uh, anyway, so we'll clean up a few things we've got to do today. I've been shamed that I have to put up the days since last accident signed back up again. Anyway, now that the sun's actually following a sensible path across the sky, I should be able to track the days pretty neatly now. Maybe even put up a clock. And just some pumpkins to pick. Uh, how was everything else going? You're all there. Go on, see, take a pick you. I can pick you. You're all good. Uh, anyway, we'll do that later. Right, uh, so we've got to also got to put an alarm on the water as well. Get the clock up. Get the stuff up for to fix this thingy up here. Fix my oxygen intake. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, lots of things. And still, maybe one day get my fuel mixer in up here. I think it's pretty close. Now we've reached a stable amount of... Um, a stable temperature on everything. Uh, we are 13.7 to 29. That's gone out of whack again. Okay, so we want to turn that down. Uh, why don't turn? Yeah, turn. No, other way down. Oh, anyway, I'll get a mixer onto there, and we shall automate that mix so as it's uh, mixing a better mix. Now, all the way here. Uh, my arms aren't that long. Have you? We're good. Uh, now, we want to put up a clock. Now, I will need to put in a chip somewhere. I can move those blue ones somewhere else. I can just put another one over here and put the red chips over here. Yeah, that might do us. Uh, okay, switch off that trippy stuff. Uh, right, let's... Um, uh, you and you. I've got my main power cable there. I can put a clock on that. Then I can put clocks all around the base. Um... I think I've actually got a chip in there too, haven't I? It's my little experimenting chip. Yep, so you got to move. And if I put them all up there inside a door, which I probably have filed away. Um, or I've used them all. Door, see? Filing system never fails. That was not luck. I don't care what everybody says. Uh, so, you go back under D for door. Now, 
I shall take you out as my experimenting chip. Uh, did I have anything else in there to wire up on? Nothing else to interfere with. So how many chips do I want in there? Um, I want one for the clock. Probably one for me countersign. Um, and, 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 I want to move that one that I've got there up. Uh, so, how's these? Let's just grab three more of them. We'll chuck four in there. Uh, let's see how we go. So, I want some of you. And... And get up there. And you. And no, no, you. Ah, oh, what do we got there? Oh, why well, cut it? Sorry, my bad. And of course you're in the way. So I can steal you. You can go up to there. You are my experimenting chip. I can hook you back to there. Boink. I need the display. Which is ye. Uh, the uh, this display. Whoops. Oh, I can see the housing now, so I could probably just write whatever we're trying to read onto the housing, couldn't I? That'd work too. But let's just do our um, test display. Uh, it's probably be under T, won't it? Or not? There it is. Oink, you're good. Right, that's you done. I'll tidy up those cables. Or maybe not. Uh, you. You, um. Longer arms. And some <coughs> chips. No chips? I'll make some chips. And some chips. Right, uh, oh, and a console. The clock. Not just yet, I'll need a sensor. Um, actually, one other thing I had to do. My tidiness was not good enough. Ah, uh, I just grabbed the first place to put things. I could have actually put that up there. Uh, switch that off. I hope my fuel mix is not on. Nope, we're safe. Nothing's going to blow up. Uh, put you... No. Turn around. There we go. Going to hook you into there. And you... Into there. There we go. Much neater. Now I have to put back onto you. Uh, do I only have one? I need the liquid pipe analyzer. That is. Oh, damn. After all the Harveys. We'll get there eventually. A lot of crap on this circuit. Liquid pipe analyzer. There is only one. That's cool. Right. We good. We good. My graph is good. We're all going good. And uh, up. Oh, try that again. Hi. 
Better fix that not facing the right way. Ooh, that was lucky. Almost had another explosion. That abomination of a cable colouring I'd better fix too. We know that's what causes explosions. There we go. Safety has been restored. Uh, let's switch this off. That's just a bit much for me. All right, you're fixed up. You're much neater. I won't trip over and hurt myself. Uh, right, where were we? I was making a clock. Oh, and I've got to fix that up. That's not really recovering. It was over 10 and now it's down to 10. Just. What happens when that's full, it's normally like, like minus 20 degrees. But now at night time as it's half empty, it'll suck in a heap of carbon dioxide. And as that carbon dioxide it liquefies, it will release a lot of heat. So by the time the sun comes up, that's down to maybe 15 degrees, which means we've got to use more gas to cool the base, which means um, we're then going to draw in more more gas the next day, which will heat it up even further. So we need to have to use more and we'll run out. And it looks like I might have gone past the point where I've used too much of it. I might have to put a big event on there, maybe two. And make sure we're collecting enough gas. So I might we'll need a, a sensor for the clock. And um I shall need some powered vents. Uh grab some of them. And we shall deal with that. <coughs> right. So I shall want clock, I can make you the clock. Now the sensor. Sun rises over that way, so it's got to be on this wall, or maybe that wall. I want it to read from a zero downwards, round to 360 at the end of the day. So this will read from minus 180 to positive 180. I have to mount on the wall because I've got to read the horizontal angle. The vertical angle won't do it, so I can't use the other sensor. So that one will be zero down. 180 or minus 180. So if I add 180 to it, so it'll be zero to 360. I'll need to put that there. That should do us. Uh, if I've done it right. Now our horizontal angle is counting that's minus 100, minus 107, minus 106, so it's counting upwards. That one's facing, that's on the right wall. We can do that. Well, I will want I wish I want to grab that chip. Oh, well, no, we're still going, all right. You should have nothing in there. <coughs> right, so I should want to alias the sensor, D0, and that should be all I need. I'll batch right out to the displays. So I shall need to define the display to one uh, LED. Uh, you. you can write to them. Oop. There we go. Now, uh, we shall, to start, I shall yield. We shall load into R0. Um. I might even... An hour to R10 and alias the minute to R11. 
I'm going to be using them a bit, so let's remember them. So we should load into R0 the sensor uh, horizontal horizontal angle. Right, so that will go from zero when the sun is directly down, which will be midnight, to around to 360. Um, so our clock doesn't go from zero to 360. So if I, I divide it um, by 15, it should now go from zero to 24 which will be our hours. Right, so if I um, truncate the uh, hour is R zero. Right, so whatever that number is, the, the, the uh, whole numbers of that will go into hour because that'll be zero to 24, which will be the hour of the day. Right, so now we've got to get the minute, which will be whatever the decimal points are. So I shall need to um, say a mod uh, R0, R0, uh, let's say, say minute. Minute is uh, mod R0. So if we divide it by one, take whatever the remainder is, that should be all the decimal places. All right, so the minute will go from 0 to 1. But we only want to go to 0 to 0.6 or 60 minutes. We don't want 100 minutes. Metrics good. Metric clocks are, are a mess with me head. So let's say, if we then multiply it, multiply minute by minute by um, 0.6. So instead of going to 0 to 1, it should now go 0 to 0 0.6. And I should just add the hour and the minutes together, and that should give me the time, shouldn't it? Add uh, R0 equals hour plus a um, minute. So R0 will now be the time. So save to db setting R0 jump to the start um, export uh, yoink I need to know that you are the clock sensor um, clock sensor um, you shall be a no, not you. That one. The Oop, clock sensor. There we go. Let's do on. We should be about midday. Well, that didn't work. Okay. What did I do wrong? Got me hours wrong. Um, or if I just give me sensor upside down. So zero is pointing upwards. I haven't taken off the 180 degrees, have I? So that's counting from it's getting a negative time. So we take the horizontal angle. So that'll be minus 180 to positive 180. So if we add. 180 will now be 0 to 360. Boom. <coughs> Export you. It is now 1154. And that looks about right. Midday. Okay, I can live with that. So we shall be happy with that time. Now we shall uh, save a batch named to our device hatch, which is the 
display our name hash is the hash um whoops clock our logic type is the setting and we are setting our zero as the time right so any display named clock should be a clock um yoink export you yoink we're back right so now it's got a proper display call it a clock you with a countdown timer uh right where do we want a clock yeah, you um Got to be on a main power cable. Got a main power... Nope, that's in the next room. I could put one just above the door. There's a pipe above the door. I could put one... Somewhere here. That, that good enough? Um, uh, cutters. You there. Oops, no, I think that was right. You there. Switch that off before my brain's tripping balls, man. I shall take a display. That's not right, it's a console. Uh, grab a couple of them. Yoink. So now I should just have to put you up to there and name you clock. And there's a clock. And as long as it doesn't go above 1560, we should be good. Uh, cool. Now I should be able to do that anywhere and have a clock. Um, there's one. Uh, you. You. And. Fuck. Ha ha. Now I know when it's daytime without having to look out the window. That's helpful. Yeah, you're net in a nine and a half. That's that's not good enough. Um, now let's grab you, and uh, we'll go out there and fix that. So I need uh, large vents. If I'm, I think I need electronic parts for you. Two, two each. I have not got any. So, electronic parts, uh, I shall need four of them. Right, how are we doing? We're still good, power's still good. I shall need you and you. Airlocks will switch on. Let me out. Ah, uh, so I'll need some pipes to hook it all up. Uh, I've got cables. Um, that should be all we need. Got you. I need to adjust anything in here. Uh, I could probably switch you off. That is the yellow one. Yep, cool. He's not switched on. Who's my visor? Well, I'll have to change the code to batch right out to him as well. Okay, we can do that. You require something different to that. An angle grinder. And they wench. And a hand drill. 
Right, gotcha. You. Now, uh, let's grab you. You'll have to come out. Okay. You're going to have to come through there. You can come through, through there. If one over here, one over here. There's a bit of distance in between them. They'll probably still affect each other, but tough luck. Uh, right, you are to weld up. You up there. Now it bent large one of them. They are. They are. Oh, what else did I need on them? Screwdriver. Probably plastic again, is it? Yeah, I didn't bring enough plastic. Oh, poopies. Ah, uh, you. And cut up. Plastic. I gotta hook the pipes into them. Uh, wrench. I better paint them. I've already had it blow up. Don't need it to happen again. Uh, yeah, that one. There we go. Right. Now plastic. Um, no, I've been to try and steal any from the walls outside. Might break something. Uh, right, I came in for plastic, uh, which is over in the other sorting pile. Or in the other sorting pile? Uh oh, I need a bigger pile. Plastic sheets. Maybe a couple of them. That's enough. Right, now the night times are burning. Let's get this stuff working. And you and you. Where'd my computer go? Switch them both on. If only had a clock to know how long it is to sunrise. Uh, right. Now it's going to rewrite the code, so it's batch writing out to those things. Then we should be good to go. There, grab you. Ow. So that is the yellow one it should be. Import you. Right. 
So filters, we are switching on the vent here. Instead of the vent being that one, should get rid of you. And we shall have to say, find the event as F1, which is you. Already got you there. Oop. Oops. Damn it. Is. Push the button. You. So instead of vent on, I can save a batch to vent on. Uh, let's uh, get the right one of them on there. It's meant to be a hash. Comment. Right, no other vents in there. It's the only mention that we have for the vent. Confirm. Very good. Is it going up? Yeah, it's going up. Uh, export you there and switch it on perhaps. Okay, so that's going good. Now I look like I've gotten to change the color of them. I change the color of the cables, but not the ICs, and that is just bad. I've saved the day again. Ah, right. You can go away. Okay, so we're back up to ten now. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough to start get that back up to 20 megapascals and have it working properly. Means we're probably using more power. Uh, six and a half kilowatts. I oh, see. I, I've renamed the power thing O's too. So uh, there you go. Means we're using two kilowatts at night time. We're still getting four. I mean that must be coming in from the Stirling engine. Because the uh, wind turbines are pretty useless at night, so we've got plenty coming in. So that means we only have to make, oh, uh, that'd be about eight during the day to break even on that. So we should be good. I think we're getting about 12 or something during the day, so we're good. Nothing to worry about there. And our air supply is blue light, that's normal. Our water is a blue light, really? Oh, because I haven't done the alarm on that one yet. That was the old alarm I had just to tell me the vents outside were on. And and that doesn't matter anymore because uh, they just stay on all the time. All uh, right, but let's have a look. So we've got our clock. I have maybe fixed that. Oh, yeah, it's up to 12 already. Oh, see, look at the temperature going up now, though. Temperature outside must be rising. It must be almost morning. Where's the clock? Yeah. Oh. Did it go above 0.5? No, there we go. Ah, uh, okay, so I'm going to have to get rid of that decimal point somehow. Ah, it'll be fine. But yeah, so now during the day when it's trying to cool the base down, it'll have to use a heap more gas because it's only minus 8 degrees instead of minus 20. Yeah, that might be a problem. Ah, well, somebody's problem. Now, let's tidy this up yeah, with uh, you. I think I had to hook you up. There we go. I can pull out you, you. And get rid of that one as well. We're good. Uh, so you're done. You are a clock. You can go up there and I shall name you the clock. Uh, clock housing. Now could I use that for the the day the uh 
the hazard counter as well. Um, I probably could. That code goes all the way through. I'll be using the same sensor to determine when the day changes. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, so I'll need another display. And... And a button. Uh, so a console. And a switch. Oh, they're too big over there. It's harder to tidy them up. Thank you. Well, um, I need the sign on there. Oh, boss. Ah. Uh, That's got to go somewhere to shame me. In the lunchroom. Safety is everybody's responsibility. Remember that at lunchtime. Uh, put you there. I shall put a button. Reset it. There. Sign just on there. And I won't be able to get the cables past those doors. Awesome. Um, I've got to hook it up to that. Um, uh, maybe. If I just move you over one. Uh, you. There, new, there. Three, three, you. You like over the top, uh, awkward, but sure, why not? Uh, you. So you will be called, what do you be called? Um, I'm putting that in there. You will be the, uh, the occupational health and safety button. And you will be the, oh, HS, uh, display. Yes, it may be called something else, other countries. I know that. But here it's OHS. and s Okay, so we can grab you carefully down there. And import you. Okay, so we have the sensor. I shall need to know the old angle. Uh, that is not even close. Old angle to uh, 12. So I'll need to know, I need to find out when it has changed day. So the, the angle will go from zero round to 360. So if it is just if I take the difference between the angle, if it's changed just a little bit, the day hasn't changed. Whereas if it's gone from 0 to 3 or 360 back to 0, that's a big change. That means a day has passed. So what I can do, uh, if I have, I'll do it again. We'll load the angle again. So if we put you down to here, we'll put our day counter down here. Until I shall uh, subtract 
uh, we should subtract R0 or oh, R1 will be the difference will equal the old angle uh, minus the current angle so if that is gone from if that is gone good English if the old angle minus the new angle so if it has gone from 360 to 0 that'll be 360 if it's gone from the old angle was 1 and the new angle is 2 that'll be a negative number right so if it's a positive number it means the day has changed so set a greater than 0 uh, R1 that was greater than zero a day has passed cool and we better record the old angle hadn't we so uh, then we move into old uh, angle oh crap and GLE move into the old angle the current angle so for the next time on the loop we'll have this angle in there to compare so set greater than zero uh, do we need to do anything? we need to check if the button's been pushed oh, I'll need the button as well unless the button to D D1 okay so we check the angle if a day has passed I need to increase the number of days so I'll be able to count the number of days uh, the number of days to R13 so I need to add one to the number of days that greater than zero okay so I can just add um, days these days plus R1 right so if that number you know, if it day hasn't passed that'll be zero so I add zero to it it doesn't change if day has passed that'll be one add one to it it goes up by one cool right so I need that and um, I also need to know the uh, the NHS display to uh, R2 uh, D2 okay now I should be able to save to the uh, NHS display uh, days oh setting right uh, I export you yoink I should get an error because I haven't hooked them up now I shall need the RHS button Uh, oh, oh crap, okay, so they haven't sorted out their display. <laughs> IHS button. And IHS display. Cool. Reset you, switch you on. And I should, I should probably write that onto the housing so I don't have to keep running out here. Wow, zero. Excellent. Well, it's... That's change. <laughs> okay, so if I just... Um, 
save to the DB housing the uh, setting uh, days. Oh, wait, I'm already using that for a clock, aren't I? Okay, let's not do that then. Uh, okay, so it's setting the days on the display. I shall need to say, I'll need to look at the button. So load into R0 from the OHS button. Ooh, that should be good. So that will be one or zero. So if, and that will have to reset the days to zero. So all I've got to do to that, so it's like if it's one, it's been pressed. So I shall say a set not equal to zero, when it has been pressed. So if it has been pressed, R0 is now zero. If it hasn't been pressed, R0 is one. Then all I need to do is multiply these by R0. So if I push the button, R0 is zero. Days multiplied by zero is zero. If I haven't pushed the button, days multiplied by one is no change. Wow, I think that's don't think I did that last time I did this program, so um, that's a much easier way of doing it. Uh, confirm. Uh, how are we doing? Are we tomorrow yet? Not yet. Wait for it. Okay, so... So that will always count from zero each time I change this. Can I write that to the stack? So if I... Because if I rewrite the code or pull the chip out, it'll reset it and set, reset it back to zero. I don't want it to do that. I want to remember where it was. If I write it to the stack, you'll be able to remember where it is. So I should... I should just be able to write it in. I just overwrite it each time. So if we move uh, this stack pointer to zero... And then push days. That is continually keep writing whatever the days are into the stack pointer. At the start of the program, all I should have to do before outside of the loop is just uh, load into days. Oh, no, no, no. I should just uh, hop. Um, days. Before we start the loop, we pop days. It'll only do that once and start using it from whatever was saved in the stack last. That's too easy. Um, okay. Oh, come on. How long does it take a day to go past? It's taking hours. Uh, anyway, okay, when I load the program, like our graphs, they take a big jump, so it won't know whether or not a day has passed. It'll immediately come in and say there's a big number there. I was just saying when it's not, when it's greater than zero. If the old angle is zero, zero minus anything is going to be the same day. That should work. That should be all right. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And boop, zero o'clock. Well done. And it's one. <laughs> what a moment. Uh, so now I shall, if I pop that out and reinsert it, that should go back to zero, which is not what we want. Oh shit, still one. 
haven't programmed the day yet. Let's have you uh, export you. Nope, you don't like that, huh? You don't like line 11. Which is... Why not? Uh, uh, so I'll probably have to, um, oh, you can't pop it, move, uh, LSP to, uh, one. Because SP starts at zero, I can't immediately pop anything. I export you. Yoink. Are uh, you happy with that? You are on zero. Well, just to test the thing, let's... Um, let's just... For the sake of things there, just say, um, move days, or well, say it's day five. Yep. Remember to take that line out afterwards. The days should be, shit. Button setting, not equal to zero. Oh, right. Set equal to zero. Um, set equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, not not equal to zero. Um, so if it is equal to zero, true, it hasn't been pressed. That's where we want to be. That's what we're doing wrong. Okay, so uh, let's just put those lines back in again. Uh, all right, try again. Okay, export you. That should go to 10. If I push a button, it should reset to zero. Ta da! Right, now if I take out my, if I reset that, it should go to 10. Now if I pull out my cheat code, which uh, doesn't set it to 10, it should now pop that out of the stack. Uh, so if I export that code, it should still be 10, even though I've reset the chip because it's pulled it out of the stack. Nice. So now if I reset it to zero, I should write zero to the stack. If I now reset the chip, it should still be at zero. <gasps> Yay! All done. All done. Right, and of course some signs. Ah. What well, is health and safety? So 100 signs is probably pretty typical. Excellent. So there we go. Oh, what do we get up to? It's only eight degrees, but it's 11 megapascals now. So it is going up now. So my oxygen supply should have been solved. Uh, maybe I should wait till the end of the day before saying that, shouldn't I? Um. Well, oh. uh, and our daytime power is 11 mega pa ne uh, kilowatts. So we've got plenty of power. Power is not an issue. We can run those two thingamajiggers. Oop. You. You. And we say... Um, days since last 
incident. Ah, of course, safety is your responsibility. Whoops, B I L I T Y. It's you, well, it's everyone's responsibility, especially you. Who's responsible for it? I need the mirror there. Who's responsible for safety? Oh, it's me. Look in the mirror to find out. Ah, oh. uh, there we go. We've done some really useless stuff. Got my day counter. I might hopefully get to one before I have another incident. No guarantees. Uh, there we go. Clock. And that thing done. Was there something else I had to do? Uh, my water. Oh, water's coming in good. We're still making profit. Ooh, we are just about running out of that though. Oh, we're down to 14 megapascals. We are actually using the volatiles faster than we're making it. Ah, uh, is that because you've run out? You might have switched off for a little while. Um, okay. Now, do we have any pollutants in here? I shouldn't be. The pressure in the water collector should be too low to get any pollutants in there. But I guess you don't know unless you actually test it, do you? Uh, so I do have my water alarm up. It is quite happy. And... Let's uh, get rid of stinky pants. Now I could. I've lost my computer. Now, so our water system, uh, so I have my, got my water alarm just here. So all we need to do is uh import you now what were we doing on this one we were selecting our alarm based on the okay so we're not doing that anymore i don't need that because uh, i'm not switching the vents on and off anymore if i can get rid of that bit of the code Uh, we're just setting our alarm. So what do we want to do? I can say... Uh, so we have the analyzer. So load into R0 from the analyzer, the uh, ratio uh, Q U I D I Q U I D carbon dioxide. So that's one of the things we can get in there, or probably liquid pollutant. So liquid carbon dioxide is not really a problem. So we shall set alarm based on R0. If R0 is not 0, uh, we'll say it is a blue light with no message. It'll be good. So then we just uh, do the same thing again. Load you uh, liquid Pollutant, and we shall do a similar thing. Set the alarm based on R zero. If it's true, uh, we shall give a uh, yellow light. Yeah, it's, that's a five, uh, and. We shall say alert. 
we should have a pollutants detected. Uh, pollutants detected, 43. So yellow light with 43 as our message. Or we just keep whatever is in alarm. So that should be do. The gases don't really matter. They will be sucked out if there are any. Um, or will they? They won't be sucked out from there. Okay, that might be a problem. So maybe I need to put a purge valve on there to make sure we get rid of anything that gets stuck in past here. Anything that gets into the pipe up there should be sucked out by the purge valve. I don't have one in here. Okay, so let's... Um, I can probably keep that. Uh, export you. We're all happy. And oops, check the alarm. It's a 200 because we're, it's, it's all good. That should just be a green light. Now, if I turn on my glasses and start tripping balls again, I need to find something there would be ideal. Uh, I could, could go up to purge to you. Uh, that pipe is on the wrong side. I'll need to go to this one. Yeah, we might be doing it there. But see, yeah, so I'm going to purge, purge any gases out of here and send it up to our room ventilation. Okay. So, switch that off. I shall need a regulator. Uh, do, do, do. You uh, are a volume pump. You are a valve. Regulators. Regulator. There we go. I have those pipes. I shall need those pipes. Right. Now, I should be able to rip you off. Uh, I thought there was a cable going across there. Can I imagine that? Oh, now I've already got that open. I did imagine that the cable goes on the floor. Okay. So if I put you... Uh, where's me regulator go? I want a purge valve. That's not a purge valve. There we go. That way I can hook you up to the cable, which is right beside there. That'll work fine. Bit of paint you the right colour. Uh, grab you and you. And I won't be able to go on that cable, will I? Okay, that's fine. You. And you. You can hook into the room ventilation. And... Put you to there. Oops, cable cutters. Nice. Um, apart from the colour. Uh, you now switch that off. Now this is our purge valve, so I shall need to set that to water. Yoink. So if we want to get that. The water in the pipes will also evaporate the water. That'll cool the water down. So if we want to keep our temperature at about 25 degrees, we want to set that to 
Well, where 14 will do. Now, if we set you to. Oop, 14 kilopascals. That should actually cool down the water in the pipe. Because it's causing it to evaporate. Uh, it's actually condensing at the moment, but. Um, oh, it's 22.4 degrees in there. Okay, never mind. Uh, but yeah, when that gets over 28 degrees, uh, this will suck out any extra pressure that's in there. I'll just suck out the steam, uh, send it into the room where it'll be cooled down by the room, uh, where it will then go back into the pipe over there. Bit of a roundabout way of doing it, but um, shut up. My base, I'll build it however I want. Uh, right, that should take care of that feral coloured cable there. And I can hide the evidence. And that should be our water supply, fully automated, fully alarmed. And coming in a grand speed of two. And we've been a day without blowing anything up. Hooray! I'm sure there's nothing around here that'll possibly cause an accident. Nah, we'll be good. And that's probably about it. Uh, we clock was on the list. Water cooler. I finished the water cooler. And um, yeah, the day OHS counter was just a, a, an act of shame, which I had to do. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it for today. So till next time. Happy building. See ya.